On the back roads where the mountain gators grow in the swamp land, we ain't worried about no law. You can find me in the woods with my dogs under pine trees in the land of the law. I've been drinking on this whiskey, got my head up in the clouds. What up, Dog Pound? This is Tim. I'm back again with another Dog Pound reaction. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we do a video over here on Dog Pound Reaction, because trust me, this is the realest reaction channel you'll find on YouTube. I can assure you that. All right, Dog Pound, y'all know the deal. Sit back, relax, strap your boots on, get your doggy treats out, and enjoy the ride, because we're going to jump up in this. Today, we're going to be racking to none other than you know who. Tom McDonald. That's right. He came out with a song on Friday called America. <clears throat> now, when I did my live stream Friday, everybody said, hey, you need a, can, can you play Tom McDonald? I said, nope, I haven't done a reaction on it. So, that's what we're doing right now. So, Tom, you up to play it again once my, again, my guy. And they told me this song is going to be very controversial. I may get a little mad about it. Not by you, but the facts that you're spitting in this song. So I'm interested to see what you have to say. All right, Dog Pound. Y'all know the deal. Set back, relax. Get your doggy treats out. Enjoy the ride because we're going to jump into this. And make sure you watch the video all the way through. Share this video. Get your family and friends to do the same. That way you get built up on the algorithm. Let's see what Tom's talking about with America. Let's get it. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. Mm. Boy, that's a fax right there. He said, man, you got people out here hating the cops. You got people out here disrespecting the soldiers. That defend this country that's getting buried for this country. But you got people out here that are going taking a knee at the flag. That's facts. That was a lot in 13 seconds. Interesting. 13 seconds. Was that planned? Did anybody ever ask that question? Because, you know, we just lost 13 service members when we exited Afghanistan a couple weeks ago. Tom said a lot right there in 13 seconds. Is that his way of tri paying tribute to those 13 individuals? If so, I respect that. But everything he said right there, that was facts. Man, let's back that up. Come on, Tom. Let's go. Lately, USA is getting scarier. Half of the Americans I see all hate America. They hate the cops doing their best to take care of us and kneel for the flag and salt the soldiers that we're burying. Mm. I'm tired of the fishing and complaining. Why you living in America if all you do is hate it? You think it's brave to take a stand against the nation? Real bravery is dying for the right so you can say, Dear America, what happened? Well, that's facts too right there. That is straight facts. He said, man, why are all these people in this country who say that they hate America? Why are you still here? Why don't you just leave? He said, some of y'all think bravery is to stand up and saying hateful things about this country. That's not bravery. He also said the real bravery is those who died to give us the right to say what we want for this country. Now, that's the true bravery. And that's facts. But if you hate this country so much, why are you still here? Get out. Go. Leave. We don't want you. Man, I can see right now this is going to get me heated. They weren't lying when they said that. Let's go. For the right so you can say, dear America, what happened to Americans? Apparently no one's aware or cares that it's embarrassing. It's arrogance. Our greatest enemy was always slavery and terrorists. And now it's people in the country trying to burn the heritage. I can't help it. I That's more facts. He said, in the past, our enemy, oh, excuse me, 
our enemy was slavery and terrorists. Now our enemy today is people trying to tear down our heritage, trying to burn it. And that's facts. Look what happened in the last couple of years. People complaining about all the, the civil civil war statues. They're taking those down. Tom, they're going to cancel you on this one. I'll be surprised if this song stays up on YouTube, to be honest with you. This is a gut and a punch. I mean, a, a punch to the gut. People don't want to hear the truth. Because then they get all up in their feelings. Bump that. Keep speaking the truth, Tom. Trust me, we got your back. Let's go. Burn the heritage. I can't help it, I just seem to see the world different. It ain't Republicans or liberals, it's mental illness. The internet is only interested in left opinion. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it... Boy, that's facts right there. He said... Excuse me. He said that daggone cancel culture has more power than the First Amendment. That's facts too. Look, I don't know if you see all those medals back there hanging on the wall. One of them's a bronze star, four of them's purple hearts. I earned every one of them in 2006 on my last deployment to Iraq. My fourth and final deployment to Iraq. YouTube demonetized my Triple T channel because of my political views. They have the right to do that because this is their platform. But because I wasn't saying what they wanted me to say, they shut the channel down. Now, it's still up and running, but you can't get paid on it. I'm not asking for any special privileges or anything, but if anybody should have the right to say what they want, it should be someone of my nature. Someone who's actually fought and defended the Constitution of the United States for the last 20 years or for 20 years of their life. But that's not the case. Because of my political views, they demonetize the channel. And that's how Dog Pound Reaction came up. It's sad, but true. Let's go. Stated left opinion. Cancel culture's got more power lately than the First Amendment. If you don't like it, leave. We will not defund police. We don't want no riots in our neighborhoods or in the streets. We respect freedom of speech. We protect what we believe. We don't want nobody dead, so please do not tread on me. In America, the freedom ain't free. In America, got soldiers dying overseas. So America, you can say what we believe. My America, I won't have to take a knee. My freedom is the reason you can Facts. If that flag right there, this, if you get triggered by that flag, I'll help you pack your bags. You can leave. I don't want you here. We don't need you here. If you get affected by offended by that flag, you need to leave. Plain and simple. Man, Tom, you a real one for this one. Let's go. America, does anybody know what the hell happened to the Patriots? Lately, this nation is so ashamed and hating itself. Did everyone forget that people died to pay for this? Ungratefulness. United States gave everything they do just to help. I just want to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. I don't need your help to understand it was a tragedy. Can I just be thankful for my country eating happily without you trying to kill me for the genocide and casualties? I can't help it. I just seem to see the world different. Facts. Look, whatever happened in the past, I can't change that. I had nothing to do with that. I had nothing to do with anything that happened 200 years ago in this country. And no one allowed today had anything to do with it either. So why are you trying to pin that on us? I have nothing to do with it. Come on. It ain't black or white, it's conflict designed by the system. I don't need your pronouns, all I see is men and women. Kids are taking pills for fun while people can't afford prescriptions. If you don't like it, go. Hate it, then don't call it home. There's more facts. 
You got young kids out here taking pills for recreational use when people can't even afford their own prescriptions. That seems a little off balance, don't you think? Man. I know people are getting triggered on this one. Let's go. Can't afford prescriptions. If you don't like it, go. Hate it, then don't call it home. We don't need no violence. Got no time for all you radicals. Screw your status quo. We're animals. I won't kneel for the anthem because the flag is what I'm standing for. In America, your freedom ain't free. In America, got soldiers dying overseas. So America, you can say what we believe. My America, I won't have to take a knee. My freedom is the reason you can You can hate the government and still love the country. The fundamental values of America are country. Republicans and liberals are dumb to put it bluntly. They're labels that they use to create chaos and corruption. You can know the history and still be proud of where you're from. Every flag around the world is covered in a little blood. We mm, boy, that's facts right there, too. He said, look, you don't have to like your country. I mean, you don't have to like your government to love your country. I don't like the government. I still love this country. He said, but you know what? Every country's flag has blood on it. That's facts, too. There's not a flag across this on this earth that belongs to a country that doesn't have some type of blood on it. But yet, we live in the most powerful, most free nation in the world. And people hate it. If you hate it that much, leave, please. Please stop wasting our time with you. Please stop daggone using up our good oxygen. If you hate this country that bad, leave. Go to some third world country and live. But I promise you that you won't. Because you know how good you have it here. Come on. Started out United States divided is what we've become. If home is where the heart is, you should show America some love. Facts. In America, the freedom ain't free. In America, got soldiers dying overseas. So America, you say what we believe. My America, I won't ever take a knee. My freedom is the reason you can disrespect our flag. If my stars and stripes offend you, then I'll help you back your backs. America. Mm. Boy, Tom, you dag on. You are the goat for real. Man, I salute you for that one. For real. Tom McDonald, from this Army vet, I salute you. I salute you because you're not even an American. You're Canadian. And you have said more and fought more for this country than any other artist out there. I don't care what anybody said. He has said more about the controversy that's going on than anyone out there. Except for maybe New Breed and Jesse Howard. Other than that, Tom McDonald. Make that man a citizen today. If he's not one, he needs to be one. Look, I don't care if you put out a thousand trashy songs. I will still support you just because of this song right here. I have the utmost respect for you. But I guarantee you people will be all over him because of because of his salute. It's not a proper salute, but hey, at least he's trying. He's not even a a citizen of this country. And he respects his country more than a lot of Americans. And then that's sad. All right, Dog Pound, y'all know the deal. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I just straight crazy? But this right here was a straight banger. Tom, you outdid yourself on this one. But don't be surprised if it doesn't get taken down. That's just the way they go. All right, Dog Pound, y'all know the deal. Stay strong, stay safe, stay blessed.
do unto others as you wish them to do unto you. And as always, God bless you and God bless the United States of America. The land of the free and the home of the brave. And if you don't like this country, get out. Till next time, Triple T. Or my bad. Old old habits are hard to break. Until next time, Dog Pound. This is Triple T with your Dog Pound reaction. Stay strong. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Have a blessed day.